Hello, hello! Welcome to day 5 of 21 days of yoga. I'm Melissa and today we'll be talking about rushing. Who hasn't been there? I certainly have. And the thing is that today's society is built in a way where we are truly spoiled. We want things now and we get them now. Sometimes that's very handy, but other times things take a little longer by nature. And that's okay, but instead of being fine with it, we rush to get it quicker. And this can bring stress too. Being super busy and rushing things doesn't mean that we're being more productive. So let's make a conscious choice to slow down and it will all come when we are ready. I promise you, your mind and body will thank you later. Let's get started. Today, we'll start seated. We have two options, to cross our legs or to put one foot in front of the other one. However, it feels better with you right now. Close your eyes and notice how your body feels today. Does it feel as usual? Heavier? Perhaps lighter? Or a mix of both? Take this moment to feel, to slow down as you connect to your body, even more by becoming aware of your breath. As you feel yourself grounding through the seat bones, notice each inhale and exhale touching your nostrils softly. We'll take this time to set up an intention to make the practice yours and all intentions are welcome as the theme today is slowing down my intention is going to be to stay in the moment and if my mind wonders about what's coming next or wants to move on to the next thing I'll bring my attention to the breath and body. Feel in your lungs and empty. One more time, feel them in and empty. left arm to the sky and the right hand can go on the fingertips to the side and side stretch it might feel good here or if you like to deepen the stretch even more you can bend the bottom elbow or bring the forearm to the ground breathe in through the nose and empty keep breathing try to keep both sides of your body lengthening without collapsing towards the one that we are leaning on and on your next inhale come back to center side stretch to the other side right arm up inhale lean to the left without collapsing on your left side breathing out keep breathing and lengthening both sides of your body as you feel the space created in between your ribs on the right side 
feel free to deepen by bending the elbow or bringing the forearm to the ground anytime. And on your next inhale, come back to center. Keeping the hands on your knees, we'll fold forwards as we open the chest and bring the shoulders back, looking up. Then we'll round the back, allowing the chin to fall towards the chest, creating space in between the shoulder blades. Now we'll do this with breath. Open the chest forwards, look up, inhale. Round the back, chin to chest, exhale. Fold forwards, look up, breathe in. Round back, space in between the shoulder blades, exhale. Expand the chest, inhale, round the back, breathe out, last one, look up, inhale, look down, exhale, and come back to center, hands to the front, and step back with both feet, down dog. Keep breathing through your nose. Sometimes the best things take a little longer. We don't need to be in such a rush to figure everything out. In fact, who has everything figured out? Let's make time for the things that really matter to us. Take a deep breath in and walk to the front as you empty the lungs. Leave the head heavy and roll yourself up to standing. Arms above your head, breath in, hands to your heart, breath out. Sun salutation B. Feet hip distance apart or big toes touching, keeping a slightly separation in between your heels. Reach up, breathe in, sing your hips low, breathe out, chair pose and keep breathing through your nose. If you can't see your toes, shift your knees back a little and find that length through the spine as you inhale. Tuck those ribs as you exhale, engaging the core. Take one last deep breath in, forward fall from your hips as you breathe out, hands to your shin, flat back, inhale, hands to the floor, step back to high plank, exhale. Hands under your shoulders and push the floor away, engaging the core. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground, inhale, and lower all the way down to the ground, exhaling. Press with the top of your feet to the ground and peel the chest off the ground, low cobra. Keep broadening your collarbones and engaging the core. Breathe in and come to a down dog as you breathe out. Right leg up to the sky, inhale. Step in between your hands, exhale. You can't reach the front with your foot yet, feel free to scoop it with your hand. 
our back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart and it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle our hips are going to be parallel forwards and we're going to reach up for warrior one inhale soften in between your shoulders and empty keep breathing through your nose in warrior one we'll keep the front knee on top of the ankle and the back foot flat the right hip is going to pull back and the left hip will push forwards find the length through the spine and tuck those ribs in one last breath in open to the left warrior two breathing out in warrior two the front knee is still on top of the ankle but our heels will be in line with each other and the back toes will be pointing to the side look at the front hand and soften your shoulders inhale through the nose stay for the exhale now we'll reverse the warrior flip the front palm up and lengthening both sides of your body lean backwards without collapsing then we'll cartwheel the arms to the front and step back to a down dog left leg up to the sky inhale step or scoop the foot in between your hands empty our back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart and it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle our hips are going to be parallel forwards and we're going to reach up for warrior one breathing in soften in between your shoulders and out keep breathing in warrior one we'll keep the front knee on top of the ankle and the back foot flat the left hip is going to pull back and the right hip will push forwards we'll find the length through the spine and we'll tuck the ribs in one last breath in open to the right warrior two breathe out in warrior two the front knee is still on top of the ankle but our heels will be in line with each other and the back toes will be pointing to the side look at the front hand and soften your shoulders inhale through the nose stay for the exhale now we'll reverse the warrior flip the front palm up and lengthening both sides of your body lean backwards without collapsing then we'll cartwheel the arms to the front and step back to a down dog make your way to high plank shoulders forwards knees to the ground breathe in lower down to the floor breathe out from now you can do low cobra or up dog and i'll do up dog with the legs off the ground let's inhale for your choice and down dog exhale 
step to the front in between your hands. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Forward fold. Breathe out. Leave the head heavy and roll yourself up to standing. Arms around and above your head, inhaling. Feet hips distance apart or big toes touching, chair pose, breathing out. Keep breathing through your nose. How low can you bring that chair? If you can't see your toes, bring those knees back. Keep breathing. Inhale through the nose, keeping the spine long. Tuck the ribs in as you exhale. Perhaps begin to feel that fire in your thighs. One last breath in. Forward fold and empty. Hands to your shin. Halfway lift. Inhale. Step back to high plank as you exhale. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground. Inhale. Lower to the ground, breathing out. Low cobra or up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Right leg up to the sky, breathe in. Step or scoop the foot at the front, breathe out. Back foot steps out a little and flat 45 degrees. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, open to the left, exhaling. Reverse your warrior. Breathe in and cut will the arms to the floor. Empty. Step back to a down dog. Left leg up to the sky. Inhale. Step or scoop the foot at the front. Breathe out. Back foot steps out a little and flat 45 degrees. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, open to the right, breathing out. Reverse your warrior, breathe in and card will the arms to the floor, empty. Step back to down dog. Make your way to high plank. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground. Inhale. Lower to the ground, breathing out. Low cobra or up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. We're going to do it one last time with a bit more of flow, adapting the movement to the breath. Accept that you are where you need to be and that everything you're doing right now is perfect as it is. Little steps to the front, in between your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Roll yourself up, arms up, breathe in. Chair pose, exhale, stay strong. 
big breath in, forward fold, empty. Halfway lift, inhale, step back, high plank and out. Shoulders forward, knees to the ground, inhale, lower down, exhale. Low cobra or up dog, breathe in, down dog, breath out. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Step or scoop to the front and empty. Back foot flat. Warrior one. Inhale. Warrior two. Open to the left. Exhale. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. And cut with the arms to the floor. Empty. Step back to down dog. Left leg to the sky. Inhale. Step or scoop to the front and empty. Back foot flat. Warrior one. Breath in. Warrior two. Open to the right. Breathe out. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. And cut with the arms to the floor. Empty. Step back to down dog. And breathe. We sometimes get so caught up in the busyness, rushing to get where we think is best that we miss amazing opportunities arising in the meantime that might be even better. Right leg up, inhale, step forward, exhale. Allow your hips to sink down as you keep them parallel to the front. Inhale here. Hips back, straightening the leg at the front and breathing out. Hips forwards, breathe in. Hips backwards, empty. Forwards, inhale, back and empty. Forwards, breathe in to stay and keep breathing. You can stay here or if you have more range, you can walk your hands back a little perhaps feeling the sauce. Keep taking deep breaths here as you pull gently the right thigh into the hip socket and the left one forwards, keeping them active. Empty your breath. Inhale, hands to the front. Step back to down dog, breathing out. Left leg up, inhale. Step forwards, exhale. Allow your hips to sink down as you keep them parallel to the front. Inhale here. Hips back, straightening the leg at the front exhaling hips forwards breathe in and backwards breathe out 
forwards inhale and backwards breathe out forwards breathe in to stay and keep breathing through your nose you can stay here or if you have more range try to mirror whatever you did on the other side you can perhaps walk your hands a little to the back feeling the source keep taking deep breaths here as you pull gently the left thigh into the hip socket and the right one forwards keep them active empty the breath and breathe in hands to the front step back to down dog breathing out steps to the front of your mat open the knees to the sides and lower down your hips to the ground to sit down hold on to one knee straighten the other leg and gently make your way to the ground both legs are straight on the floor We'll do some cool work here. Keep your arms by your sides with the palms facing down. We'll bend the knees towards our chest as we kick up with the feet, straightening the legs and breathing in. Then we'll lower down again exhaling without touching the floor we're going to do this 10 times if you feel that your hips aren't leaving the ground yet that is absolutely fine we'll get there before you think let's do it kick up inhale lower down exhale up inhale down strong core empty up in down out up inhale down exhale kick up breath in and lower exhale up breathe in down out strong core up breath in down and out inhale and up exhale and down Two more, kick up, breath in and lower, breath out. Last, breath in and up and down and out. Yes, we smashed it. Fantastic. Now we have two options, low bridge or wheel. Low bridge as we have been doing in previous sessions. Heels under the knees with the fingers brushing the heels and then peel the back off the ground. Wheel. Keep your heels under your knees with the toes facing the front. Our palms are going to go behind and wiggling a bit under our shoulders with the fingers pointing towards the shoulders from here we'll begin to peel the back off the ground until we can't go any further then press with your hands towards the ground and bring the top of your head to the floor keep your elbows shoulders distance apart 
you can stay here or lift yourself up for two breaths or if it's too much make your way to the ground whenever you are ready wherever you are one last breath in and out gently and doing the pose the same way we got into it. Happy baby, bring the soles of your feet to the sky. You can grab behind the knees or your ankles or your big toes or the outside of your feet. Many options to choose from. Try to keep the whole back on the floor, including the tailbone. You can apply gentle pressure towards the ground with your hands, bringing the knees towards the sides of your ribs noticing where the stretch feels keep breathing through your nose for some it might feel in the hips for others in the hamstrings or perhaps everywhere let's take one deep nourishing breath in and make your way to resting pose as you empty the breath. Shavasana, where all the energy that we moved around settles down. This is the most important pose out of all. Feel grounded and nourished as your body sinks into the ground enjoying these low deep breaths relax Anan says once she stopped rushing through life she was amazed of how much more life she had time for what exactly are you raising towards? Once we get that, there will always be something after. What's the point in rushing? Slow down, enjoy the process and let life surprise you. Observe and believe it's on its way. Allow yourself to rest here for a few minutes. Relax.
gently begin to connect to your breath and bring some movement back to the body by moving your fingers, your toes, bringing your arms above your head for a full body stretch. Being grateful for gifting this time to yourself. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. If you like the video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. It's free. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye. Thank you.